Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use Resource Hacker to retrieve the resources present within a malware sample. Let's start with talking about what file resources are. On Windows computers, executables with the extension exe, dll, sys, drv, etc. adhere to the portable executable format, otherwise known as the PE file format. The PE file format contains a resources section to hold data about an executable like icons, font data, cursor, pop-up menu data, manifest information, copyright data, etc. The resources present within a PE file can be viewed using tools like Resource Hacker. Let's take a look. These are the resources present within the binary for the command line tool, strings. One resource contains detailed product version information. Another resource contains the manifest information. Let's take a look at the resources present within another binary, the setup file for IDA. There is some cursor data. This is a bitmap image used within the application. This is the icon used once the binary has been installed on your computer. This resource corresponds to a dialog box used within the application. You can find information about the graphics used for the cursors and icon. Finally, you can view the version information, followed by the manifest. Cyber adversaries embed malicious configuration files and payloads within the resources section of an executable. Some resources may drop or download malware or may contain encoded malicious content. Let's take a look at the resources section in few malware samples. Here is a malicious sample that contains a number of portable executables of different formats within the resources section. In Resource Hacker, you can select a resource, right-click, and save it. You can then analyze this specific DLL to uncover its behavior. Here is another malware sample. Besides the versioning and icon information, there appears to be some foreign language strings within the resources section. It appears to be a long message of some sort. I have translated two sections of this text in Google Translate. It is rather unusual to see these strings within an exe file. Once we have more information surrounding the incident where the sample was found, we can get more clarity about the full capabilities of this binary. Here is another sample that contains one resource. Looking at the file signature, we can confirm that the resource is a PE executable. It can be saved and analyzed. I hope you have a good idea now about how Resource Hacker can be used to extract the malicious resources in a PE file. I encourage you to obtain some malware samples and recover the resources present within them. If you're wondering how you can build a good collection of malware samples, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!